always, always, always start a podcast with a drink. Where's your drink yeah. at, Michael? Uh, I left it out in the living room, but I was drinking uh, Crown Apple Juice just two minutes ago. Crown Apple Cause, Juice? Yeah, because I have to be up at 5 a.m. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. I, I don't have to be up at 5 a.m. anymore. Thank the Lord. Oof. Lucky I to, man. I have to be up at 8.30. It's horrible. <laughs> You're like, Absolutely. Go, you're, you're like, go fuck yourself, Scott. <laughs> like this guy. You know what's really this funny? You know, you know what's really funny? I'm like, we always end up somehow in the same town, but we don't see each other. I was just in Ocala, and I saw and I saw you guys were up in Ocala as well, too, over the weekend, right? Yeah, we went. My mom was doing some dinner because we went up to Jacksonville to see Katie's family. I did see that, stopped. yeah. Yeah, my mom... Uh, was having a big seafood boil at her house. Mm. So, yeah. Is your mom from Louisiana? No. No? I don't know. Seafood boil. It's very Creole. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the time when this one girl got really mad because she was from Louisiana, some white girl? And I don't know. I just was fucking, I don't know. I was just curious. I was just like, do you know Creole? She's like, no, that's racist. And I'm like, how the fuck's Creole racist? And so then, I don't know. I, I guess maybe it's like, oh, you know, it's what the slaves learned when they all moved out of the South and they got in touch with the Cajun people. And then it's funny, like, like a couple of days later, I'm do I'm, I'm at a, I'm at an open mic and I talked to my buddy Gene. He's, uh, he's Haitian. And I asked him, is Creole like, like white, like a white person learning knowing Creole is that racist? He's just like, no. Who the fuck did you learn that from? And I said, some bitch who wasn't fucking Creole. Yeah. Stupid bitch. Ah, nice bitch. So what's new with you, brother? Nothing much, man. Just uh, working. Working? How's the job? Um, eh. eh. Kind of lame. Kind of lame, kind of good. Kind of lame, but kind of good. It's like, oh, you know... Keeps you busy, but it's also just like, ah, fuck this. Yeah. Dealing with old people is, um, your schedule, it varies a lot, right? It's, it's not like the same, like, not, not like a Monday, <clears throat> Monday through Friday kind of thing or anything. It's, it's still five days a week. It's some days, it's, um, when I work, like, for example, I work Monday through Friday, or I'm sorry, Monday through Thursday, and then I work the weekend both days, but that Sunday carries over into another five-day week. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I I respect what you do. I certainly couldn't do it. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I feel bad because, you know, I, I work in medical sales, and I feel bad for a lot of the... Uh, not only the patients who have incontinence, but I do feel bad for the nurses that have to like fucking like deal with it as well yeah. too. They get paid yeah. to they get paid to deal with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, the nurses awesome. there just give them medication and like give them insulin and apply dressings and shit like that. They don't really do anything. So, like, what are pretty... you exactly? Are you are you like a CNA or something? Yeah, I'm a nurse aide. I'm ah. a certified nursing assistant, bro. Hmm. So, did I tell you I was in the ER the other night, last week? No, you did not. Yeah. So, what for? Did, well, did you see the video I posted of uh, me cleaning penis my ears? Pump? The penis pump, yes. Penis pump accident? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, I pumped my penis too much, and it's now exploded. it looks now it looks like a bottle of Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> it's like a it's like a hot dog when you uh, when you microwave it for too long and it blows up. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, um, now I, I I had the I did the penis pump once. Everything's all good. It's all good. I'm just kidding. But no, I I posted a video of uh, I got a new like fucking ear cleaner. You know, it's got a little camera on, it, and you can clean your ears yeah. out. My 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 ears are disgusting, and I had like so much wax in there. But I was I'm like not a fucking nurse, obviously, yeah. so I don't know how to clean my ears properly. Which I should have had you do. I mean, like you could have cleaned my ears out the fucking. Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway, so I long story short, I lodged some of the wax too deep in my ear, 
and I got I literally became deaf for like a day and I oof. Yeah, but the the but but, but the best part was, yeah, because when I missed work, my bosses laughed. He was just like, You're you're stupid. Like you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not getting this made up. And I'm like, I understand. <laughs> so so then I go to the ER because I kind of panicked a little bit because what I'm kind of like I'm kind of like a person with like severe autism when it comes to like yeah. either hearing two things are too loud or too quiet. Like, cause I had tinnitus too. And all I heard was like a ringing and I was literally going like, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Scott. And, uh, <laughs> so I go to the ER. Fucking just, I tell them what's going on. So they put me, you know, in a gurney. Fucking I'm in, I'm in the room. They're asking me if I'm on drugs, and I'm like, no. I mean, they're like, do you smoke? I'm like, no. Well, I, I, oh, well, actually, they, I didn't say, I didn't see the, the say the typical one where it's just like, oh, do you smoke? Smoke what? They actually you smoke asked, what? They actually asked if I smoke pie, and I said recreationally, like whenever I get my hands on it, but not all the time. Yeah. And they're like, do you drink? And I'm like, fucking, I want, I want to be drinking now, but yeah. <laughs> I would like to be. Yes. And um so why do you have them? Yes. <laughs> so I'm in the fucking like the ER waiting room for like two hours. Doctor thinks he's like a comic, thinks he's like the funniest guy. He actually did make one funny joke and I'm I might and I might use actually. He said, Hey, you know, if this doesn't work and you're still deaf in your left ear, you could just sleep on the right side of your uh, uh, on the right side where you left your left ear sticking up so you don't have to hear your girlfriend when she talks to you. And I'm like, Oh, actually kind of funny <laughs> all right wow and um uh, so th they're doing fucking methods that like i was literally trying to do by like squirting water in my ear with like peroxide and shit yeah and and they're like how they're, they're like can you hear can you hear and i'm like no i can't fucking hear like <laughs> come on and um yeah so long story short they got i got a prescribed like some kind of like steroid had to go to Indian Rocks to go to the only pharmacy that was open. Shout out to the pharmacist down in Indian Rocks Beach who um, got me like 20 bucks off of my prescription, by the way, because I'm uninsured, baby. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, yeah. But anyway, we're all good. I can, I can hear fucking clearly now. Dude, like, it's like fucking high definition, my, my hearing right now. HD. Just not looking forward to the fucking hospital bill. Yeah. You might you you want to give me like you want to steal someone's insurance card at your hospital you work at? Uh, at the nursing home? No. Yeah, you should be like you, you should be like. Wait a minute, sir. Your name is Gladys McKeppelstein? Yes. Ah. Yes. 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 That's I'm my trade. name. I'm trades. You but you're 94. I know. I transitioned yesterday. There's some there's some guy. Well, his he has a he has a male name, but he has a vagina. What? Like I've had to change him. He has a vagina. He he has a vagina. Is it like a really small penis and like a really like, no, like small like he it, big like it's, there's, it's a pussy. There's, 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 a, there's a slot. There's a like slot. It, he's he's he has a badge. So it's a fucking woman that became a man. I don't even know. I'm afraid to ask. You should be like, nice cock. <laughs> oh, dude, nice cock, bro. Nice cock there, man. I I like it down there. And he's like, thanks. What's his name? Do you remember his name? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> yeah, you get, yeah, that's HIPAA violation right there. <laughs> yeah, like there's so many jokes that I could like make as well too, but like yeah, it's technically like HIPAA violation. Yeah. No, no. It's. I mean, yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm I mean, afraid to ask because then I could find out that he's like some old, old school trans, some old feminist <laughs> transgender. <laughs> I dude, like, like you know, there's been trans people that have been around for like years. I saw this video. It's like a 20 minute documentary of like these three dudes that all transitioned to men uh, to women. And now they all regret it, and they're just fucking dudes with pussies. Now I feel so bad. Like I feel fucking bad for, for these guys, because yeah, they're like, we went through the surgery and, and immediately regret it. Now I'm fucking living my life thirty years, fucking with a pussy, and I hate it. And I'm like, god damn, like, 
Like, can you imagine if you lost the ability to fucking come? Like, yeah. Oh my, oh my god. I'm good. I'm so good on that. Yeah, I I love coming. Like, like dude, coming's <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting a big load. Shooting a big. Load. Shooting ropes. Now nah, it's funny, man. So me and Miranda have like the same schedule, pretty much. So yeah, yeah. So like, you know. We've talked about our fucking sex drives multiple times here on the podcast, but yeah, I uh, I have a pretty high sex drive, so sometimes, you know, when I get alone time, I get a little me time, you know what I mean? Sorry, viewers, you guys are going to be like, whoa, I don't know, Scotty jacks off. Of course I jack off. I'm a young no man. Way. No way. And uh, so, god damn, I hope my mother-in-law doesn't hear this. <laughs> anyway, that, that's it. That's it right there. That, that that's you, you you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Maggie's like, don't to get too much detail, Scott. It's okay. Dealing with unruly cat making noise. Dude, I look like fucking Fred Durst right now. Are you wearing a fitted hat? It my I stole it from my cousin. It's like some oh, fucking God. RVCA. What is it, like a skater thing or something? I don't no, know. No, that's uh, I, if I remember correctly, that that's BJ Penn, the UFC fighter. That's oh, his... I don't know. That's his fucking Could clothing be line. I'm just a fucking poser today, man. I'm just a fucking poser. Just a poser, bro. <laughs> just a poser. Got my tap on. I, guess. <laughs> I remember you used to wear your tap out shirts. <laughs> I had one. I had an Ultimate Fighter shirt, mm -hmm. but it was a tap out shirt. I remember that very, very clearly. I didn't want to fuck with you. I was just like, mm -mm. oh god. <laughs> now I I knew a lot of. I remember a lot of dudes back in high school that had tap out shirts, and I fucking hated all of them. Yeah, yeah, dude. So speaking of Ocala, went out fucking Friday night to Mutiny. Have you been to Mutiny yet in Ocala? <laughs> The mutiny, no. You have not? No, what is that? I it's, don't even a, know what that it's supposed to be like a pirate bar. I mean, it's got like pirate stuff, like you know, pictures of pirates. But oh, it's damn. like a, it's more like a punk rock bar. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's like a you know, people I don't know. It, it's it's just a bar. It's a bar in Ocal. Um I go there and I uh talk to the bartender. I'm I'm, I'm getting a drink. And he saw and he he got he, he saw my my debit card and he was just like, I think I know your brother and I'm like I know you, you I'm like you know my brother I've, I've met you multiple times dude and then he remembered that I do stand up yeah I know. huh <laughs> be like yeah I know I know <laughs> <laughs> no but anyway no so I was what I was saying was Joe he remembered that I do uh, comedy and he was saying to me that they've been trying to get a scene going on in Ocala. And they had one guy who was trying to, I guess, start something. They did like a show that, at some like little bar, and they had one comic who wasn't a comic. It was a guy who talked about doing stand up comedy, yeah. never, never, never done it before, and like ate complete shit for like forty minutes. And I was just like, why, in your right mind, would you let this guy do it? And 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 they're just forty like, minutes. Yeah, he, 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 they're saying before like thirty to forty minutes, which just fucking just eat complete god. shit. Like, dear god, like was he like holding it hostage or like it was like he was they he, say go out there and do forty minutes. No, it was a friend of theirs who have who has always wanted to do stand up, and I guess he wanted to try it out, and never done an open mic before, never fucking never. Fucking yeah! Never done an open mic. He's, he he doesn't have that experience. He thought maybe like oh he 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 makes memes. He fucking uh, I don't know. He's the funny guy in the group. He th ooh. he thinks he can go on and do comedy. You know, it's just like dude. That's I mean you could you could be guy the funniest at the office water cooler. What was that? He's the funniest guy at the office water cooler. Yes, that's me technically. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you the funniest guy at your hospital? Uh, nursing home, but no. No, who who's the funny? Actually, who? I, well, I mean, I would have to be. <laughs> you're like, man, I just want to give all these fucking people fentanyl. Mike, you're a funny a of, guy, you know that. Because <laughs> a lot of women work there. Mm, mm. So, if so facto, I mean, some women are funny, but <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> um. All right. So, 
Okay, so long story short, all the beauty thing. The guy really, they really want to try to get a scene going on in Ocala. So I told them, I said, "Look, I can get some fucking shooters, you know, oh. down in, down in my area who are they've been doing it for years. We can we can get something going, and then you know teach you guys how to host, and then get you get you some people that can fucking get up on stage and do like an open mic, get like fucking." Just people, how many people want to sign up? Do like weekly. There you go. That, that's that's it. You know that that that's that's how you start a scene. You can't just fucking get up there, you know. Expect one guy to fucking murder it. It's not how it works. So you need to make your debut next time. That is when it. When is it? Oh, I don't know yet. I will. We're, right now we're in talks, and I like I was talking to my buddy. Who actually I was just on his podcast the other day, Devin, Devin Pickett from the One Man You Can't Stand. Check him out; he's a really funny guy. I was telling him what I plan on doing, and he he said limit. He said if you're gonna do like an actual show, limit it to about three comedians. Like get like a guy, get like a guy who host, which will probably more likely like more than likely be me. Then get like a, I then get like a first feature. Another feature, and then a guy who can headline for like an hour or forty minutes, or whatever the fuck. Oh god! <laughs> and uh, and then even and then even before that, uh, the, even even after that, do like an open mic or something after. And yeah. And then yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. It's right now. It's just in the talks. We'll get something going on very soon. We just got to fucking got to make. We just got to make sure things go right. Right, Michael. <laughs> Correct. Yes. So you better have your five ready. Yeah, man. Just let me know. I can. I can do five minutes. You can do I five guess. minutes easily. What's Just minutes? you got the confidence. You're a funny guy. You got it. You should have made. You should have made your debut years ago, though. Oh man. Yeah. I, I feel like uh, the era for my kind of comedy is done. Well, or... mine too. I mean, like I'm. I feel like we kind of have like the same kind of like comedic style. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm a lot of different things. You could you could probably do a clean act. I just don't ever see myself doing a clean act. I, I have a clean yeah. act, but I hate it. I I absolutely hate my clean act. I fucking mean, cringe. <laughs> nah, dude. I did a I did a clean set back in like December. Uh yeah, to to a head to a headliner who's now a good friend of mine actually. Yeah. And she she was just like she was like you're funny as fuck, but. What was that all about? And I said, "Look, I'm trying to work clean. I'm trying to get into clubs and stuff." And then I showed her some like my, like my dirty shit, and she was just like, yeah. "She's like, why the fuck did you not do that?" And she's like, "No, well, next time I perform, and if I and if I see you, and you're gonna and you're in the wherever the fuck, and you want to come up, you're doing your dirty set." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll I'll do my dirty set. I will gladly well, do my dirty set." There's still a market out there for it. Oh yeah, feel- well. You know, I know a lot of guys who have been doing comedy for a while. A lot of them said, you know, you don't really necessarily need to be clean. And yeah. I even I even said this on my podcast as well, too. I feel like what because people when they when they say they 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 you know when they say clean that they they you do clean because they think clean gets them work. Technically, it does. I mean, let I me mean, think about it like if you're an amateur, well, not really, not amateur slash like you know, working comedian in the area, travels around the state of Florida. I mean, the majority of places that you're going to be doing comedy at are like what restaurants and breweries yeah. and stuff. You know, I mean, even places that are more family friendly as well. A lot of old people as well too. Yeah, it'd be better to be clean. But then a lot of people will say, oh, you know, it's good to be clean. If you're going to, you know, be on television and I'm like, look, I said this multiple times and I'm always going to say this. That's over with. Like, yeah. Network television stand up is done. Like this isn't Carson's don't Carson's dead. Like, who yeah. the fu- like when was, when was the last time Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon had a com- had a stand up comedian before stand up on their show? The handler or something. It's, or Yeah, something like that. Or Stephen Colbert and stuff. I mean, like, when was the last time they had an actual comedian before stand up on their show? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, I. It's been years, or maybe they never even done it. But I don't know. But I mean, because Letterman's gone as well. There's no. Yeah. The, 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 that, Conan, that era, I would say Conan would probably have someone on. Is Conan uh, still? Is he still around? 
I don't know. Hmm. But he was, I'm saying that people in recent years, I'm saying if he has been off the air, it it probably hasn't been long. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, he was on TV. And and a lot of people were like, oh, well, what about Netflix? And I'm like, fuck Netflix. I mean, look, yeah, sure. you, You can like, you know, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool. It's like, oh, I got a Netflix special. My Netflix special coming out on February 30th. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but anyway, you don't need, I, I just don't think you need to really necessarily, necessarily be clean anymore. I mean, like, I don't know, like, fucking Don Rickles will roll in his grave if, you, if everyone's like, oh, we all got to be clean. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, comedy. So, I recently learned uh, the reason why uh, Boschetti, uh, what was has been kind of inactive. He's been dealing with a lot of health issues, actually. Oh damn! Yeah, we re- yeah I talked to him not too long ago on Twitter. Yeah, he said yeah he's been dealing yeah he's got like a lot of shit going on with his health and whatnot. And I'm like, oh damn, got the diabetes, Scott. I don't know if it's di- I think he said something to do with his heart. I, I don't know, oh. but it- but it sucks though because I know he he was talking about like he he's gonna start to get him back into stand up. And stuff, and I was looking forward to him coming on the pod. But I mean, he'll probably come on eventually. You know, just give him time. Just give him time. I just, we just both want to just make fun of him. (laughs) (laughs) Partially, I really want to like pick his brain on certain things. But uh, I know you do. I mean, so do I. I want to be like, all right, where the fuck's Artie? Is he alive? Down to brass tacks. (laughs) How is Artie? How is old Artie doing? He's probably like, oh, he's chilling. Going back to Howard Stern. Oh my god, I'd kill him if he if he did oh, that. God. Yeah, that's that's a question I want to ask Bashetti. I want to be like, yo, like what the fuck's going on? Like, why like what, so what's, what's your what's your, what's your, what's your, really? what's your opinion on Howard? Howard. Fuck you. I don't want to I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I'm sure he would. I mean Maybe. I I don't know. It's I don't fucking know, man. I'm not saying that he is that he like it, 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 it's possible, but a lot of people, a lot of people would rip on Howard, but they don't want to, even if they have no chance of ever being on a show. Which I assume because of his association with Artie, Third would wouldn't have him back on because he just doesn't do comedy on his yeah. new thing anymore. It's so funny though, because Howard, like, even though I wouldn't necessarily call him a comedian, but you know, he was definitely a huge advocate for. The First Amendment. Yeah. He now said, some, said some pretty fucked up jokes back in the day as well, too, that pushed boundaries for sure that, a, I don't know, any other any other comic probably would have fucking said as well, too. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I mean, like, to me, well, I, he, had, I, he had, like, he had uh, Rodney Dangerfield on, like, a bunch of times. He had oh, Don yeah. Rick on, uh, oh, Pat yeah. Cooper. Oh yeah, he had fucking Yucko the Clown on Yucko several Clown. times. Yeah, Bob Gil- Le- Gilbert oh, on. We have never talked about Bob Levy. Are you familiar with Bob Levy? But, yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah, Bob Levy. Reverend, Reverend Bob Levy. Reverend Bob. Yeah, it sounds so familiar. Yeah, can you remind me on like some of his jokes? <laughs> I've really only I was getting to it because I've never heard you talk about him, and I was like, he's he's you know he he does blue comedy. And <laughs> I've really only ever heard it on uh, what's it called? Like that's an example of someone who could never have been on TV when TV comedy was a thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he also did like hacky stuff. Like he would eat blue cheese out of like some random he would play at like strip clubs and stuff like that and he would eat blue cheese out of a stripper's ass or something like he would do a bunch of corny shit like that but my buddy my buddy pat he um he he he's um he hosts uh like a monthly show at the strip club down in seminal (laughs) yeah he'll have like a lot of comedians come out and perform while strippers are dancing and stuff yeah i mean i don't think yeah i don't think he's eating blue cheese out of a stripper's ass. I mean, I'm sure he has in his in his day. I mean, he's a little older. He's probably in his 40s or something like that. So, I'm not I'm not too sure what he's done with his life. I should next time I see him, he's doing he's doing an open mic on uh, next Tuesday. So, I should be like, "Hey, should we any any fucking blue cheese out of a stripper's asshole?" <laughs> Eat anything out of a stripper's asshole? Eat uh 
<laughs> Eat some old tampons out of a stripper's asshole. Uh, God damn it. Oh, <laughs> now I remember. Okay. So another thing happened at, at Mutiny as well, too. So um, my um, my cousin was also with me as well. Love him to death. He's a good guy. So we're like me and my family, some friends. We're all hanging out. Then a fucking local Ocala chick, you know, not not too hot. Actually, not hot at all. Like fucking had like this bunch of makeup on. Looked like, you know, it's like a scene kid that was just pulled right out of like 2008. But gain oh like gain like seventy pounds and shit. So yeah. she sees Tyler Ramona Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so she sees my cousin, and you know, don't don't get me wrong, my cousin. He's a very very handsome man. He's a very good looking guy. He's, you know, kind of look. He looks like Thor. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think I've told you about him. He was on the podcast for a second when he called me, and he yeah. and it was his birthday. So. So he got the good genes in the family, and I didn't. But but regardless, yeah, I got neither here nor there. Neither hey, here nor there. I got I got I got the fucking creative genes, bitch. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, power of the mind. Power of the mind. Power of the fucking balls and penis. Anyway, <laughs> so this girl fucking sees my cousin. Fucking literally just looked like like you know when Tom and Jerry when they smell like pie and the fumes yeah, start oh, yeah, she was yeah. a little just like spark, floated over to my cousin and she was just all over him and my cousin you know he's being nice he's just like ah, yeah thanks you know I'm just she's like I've never seen you around here before he's just like yeah I'm from Boca and I'm like just watching the entire time just laughing me and Miranda are just like laughing our asses off and I'm like oh my god it's fucking funny and then all of a sudden, I, I hear the topic of fucking drugs come up, and she just talks about how she does crystal meth recreationally. You know, I do crystal and, uh, meth all the time. Yeah, she, dude, she was literally like, she, she's like, yeah, I like to do crystal meth like here and there and stuff. And, ta- and my cousin was just like, okay. casual crystal meth user, <laughs> casual <laughs> crystal meth user, and he's just like, all right, um, interesting. And so she's just like, what about you? And he's just like, well, I'm from Boca. We we do fucking coke, you know, and which is fact. I mean, I'll, I mean, anyone down, anyone south of fucking like Orlando does coke. Not, well, I don't do coke, but, um, but yeah, I mean, even though I grew up in Ocala, I never touched meth. Did you? Yeah. Did you? No. I was about to say. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, don't know. I, th- I thought I asked. I mean, I don't know. They're, they're, who, who the fuck knows what 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 wait, what's what goes on inside your head? You're like, oh, I've done this. First thing I ever did was the uh, the K two shit. Oh God, yeah. Don't do not fucking get me back on that talk with again. The designer drug of champions. Yeah. <laughs> the designer drugs of sophomores in in Ocala, Florida, back in 2008. Yeah, exactly. This is um, 2012. Okay. This is 2012, actually. Well, I did okay. I did it for the first time in like 2010, 2011. Uh, yeah, so makes sense. Anyway, so we're going to leave, and this girl is just not letting Tyler go. Like he, we're, we're I think we're about to go to another bar. So finally, I'm like, all right, well, you know, this guy's my family. He's also a, a homie as well too. So I pull, I pull out the gay card. I'm like. Babe, we gotta get going. I like smack his ass and everything, and she, he's just like, "Oh, okay." And she's like, "Wait a minute, is there something that I didn't catch on here?" And I said, "Yeah, you know, he was just too afraid to tell you, and I didn't want to cause a scene either." She's like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry," and, and we just, <laughs> and then we made out right in front of her. <laughs> just get me to oh. make it. Had to sell it. Yeah, it's hard sell. Amen, baby. But yeah, okay, I'll up. Good times. Then we went to O'Malley's, did the punching machine. You know, we were trying to see who who can hit the machine the hardest. I was like, ugh. Ugh. He's fucking t- challenging these young guys. You know, they're the ones with the perms. Sh- shaved around the head. They look like fucking gigantic pieces of broccoli. And they're just like, man, I'm fucking strong. And I'm like, you barely got past fucking 700. What are you talking about? You're not strong. Ah. Uh, there it is. Meeting time end in ten minutes. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we we could have done it with the whole uh, different cam setup thing, but I I don't know. I just didn't feel like fucking uh, getting that all set up. Another time we will. I like doing Zoom though. 
Yeah, yeah, we can do we can do a little little short ones every now and then. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, they don't have to be hours long. I mean, they're fun when they're hours long. Yeah, but it's better when we have like more people, which we haven't had actually together. I mean, I've had like you know a couple like more than two people on mine before, but without you, Mike, god damn it. <laughs> Well, we got Mike Pachetti in the works, bro. Yeah, it's com- it's coming. You know, we just wait, just wait until fucking let's wait until he gets healthier. I guess. <laughs> All right, Mike. It's called the gym. All right. He's just like the gym. I don't go to the gym. What are you, what are you talking about? Don't go to the gym. What are you about? Don't what are you, what are you talking about? I'm from Staten Island. Everybody, everybody's a gym here. I'll <laughs> go fucking gym. Dude, I need you to go. Like, dude, I, I need to go to, to a fucking. Gym. I need to go to a fucking gym. Did you go to a gym? I we have two gyms in our apartment. I don't go to either of them. So. Sm- our <laughs> suck here, man. No, th- these are actually really nice. Really? Fuck. I'm gonna start going back soon because I'm getting married in less than a year. So. I'm s- that's so cool, man. That's so fucking cool. Um, does your I gym get my ass in the gym? Does your gym have a racquetball court? Maybe. I I love racquetball. I I need to play racquetball. Yeah, we have a tennis court. But the only problem is, you know, Miranda doesn't play tennis or racquetball. So I need to find someone who's good at racquetball. I can see you being good at racquetball. I can see you wearing the short shorts. Maybe. And you're just I like... Thought, honestly, I've never played racquetball. I would, dude, like, I started playing racquetball, like, fucking years ago. And I got good pretty quick. I played with my brother not too long ago, and I whooped his ass. It was fun. Whoops his ass and some racquetball. Whoop his ass and racquetball, Mike. Fuck yeah. you. Got to play that, bro. Batman's fun as well. You ever play pickleball? I have not. They're actually building a pickleball court in our complex. Do you live in a fucking like elderly like community or something? No. Sarasota's just... got some old. It's got some old fuckers down there. Yeah. Yeah. Of course they do. I heard in Sarasota, there's also a huge Amish community. Yep. Yeah. I yelled at them last night. You what? I yelled at them last night. <laughs> were, <laughs> were, driving home. were they on their horse and buggy? You're just like, move. No, you fucking- they all ride bikes. They all ride bikes. And they were all like in the street. There was like 50 of them in the street on their bikes. And I just, I yelled. I was like, get a fucking car. <laughs> Get a fucking automobile. Hello. Shave your fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Amish people. Have you seen that show Breaking Amish? No. It's really funny. Is yeah. that the reality show? Or it's yeah, like, it's it's on yeah. TLC. These two girls, yeah. they're like young and they they're like, you know, that's a penis over there. That penis looks nice. I think I might want inside of me, you know? <laughs> so, oh, God. Uh, but no, it's pre- pre- pretty much their transition from fucking... Amish. From, from, <laughs> from, from Amish to fucking normal English. That's what the Amish call uh, non-Amish. They call them all English. And I'm like, dang, even like the Hispanic people, you call them English? They're like, finally. Uh, about that's fucking incorrect. time. <laughs> <Stink> <laughs> <correct>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking funny, man. No, it's, a, it's an interesting show. TLC's got some fucking weird shows. Have you seen their new show, Mel- Milf Manor? No. Oh, my God. Ba- ba- basically, it's like these old-ass women. They're like over the age of like fucking 50. They and oh. they and they want to meet. They want to meet and date uh, younger men, like fucking between the ages of like eighteen to like twenty five. Sounds oh, interesting, man. but here's the catch, bro. They all have it. <laughs> each of them. Okay, each mother, their son is part of the show too. They're dating each other's fucking sons, man. Oh man, isn't that weird? That's next gen. I. <laughs> Dude, I'd fucking have a heart attack if I'm like getting lined up and, and I and I see a curtain and my mother's standing right there. I'd be like, nope, nope. I mean, no. I don't want to watch any of these guys fuck my mom. That's weird. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I can't good. do that. I, I can't fucking do that. Nope. Like I got no, I got no problem if you're gonna, if you're gonna date like an older woman. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Just I don't yeah. know, man. I just think the fact that it's like. 
they're each each of them are like a mother and then there's a son and they're all fucking dating you know each other yeah i wouldn't like that i think that's too weird too um too fucking like too biblical yeah biblical too old timey too west virginian for me yeah the new age twist on West Virginia, the state of West Virginia. <laughs> oh, before we get out of here, I laughed my ass off when I was in the when I was in my office when you put, shared the uh, the article from the Onion. Teenage boy discovers oh. masturbating. <laughs> was it discovers or invents masturbating? Invents masturbation. Love it. So fucking beautiful. I love the and Onion. Y'all didn't we all didn't we all think that we invented masturbation? No. No, <laughs> no, no. I watch I watch porn at a very young yeah. age, so I know yep. exactly what coming was. Yep. yep. But yeah, I mean, we've talked about that multiple times That's about sweet. porn. I mean, I mean, have we ever dedicated a fucking a, a full episode of porn? A good chunk of an episode, if I recall correctly. I'm down to do it again. I like talking about porn. <laughs> yeah, so talk about old vintage porn. Yeah, we started the history of porn. I mean, porn's been going on forever. I mean, like, I think it's like Egypt. Like, there was, and, and, and like Hindu people, they drew fucking pictures oh. of like, of, of like fucking Hindu gods getting fucked stupid by, by Vishnu. Is that pornography or is it, I guess it kind of is by like today's standards. Well, then... what's, what's hentai? Is that pornography? Yeah, that's, that's it. There, there you go. That's pornography too. Pornography is beautiful, it's art. <laughs> it's a timeless classic <laughs> it is a time technically it is i mean if it's been around for that long i mean i bet you fucking i don't know do you think like when cavemen like discovered like sex for pleasure they're just like smoke a cigarette <laughs> Smoke um, a whole pack of ranch. God, <laughs> smoke, smoke a whole pack of ranch. No, smoke a whole tobacco branch. Oh, <laughs> I said ranch. I'm like, I don't think ranch existed back in yeah, fifty thousand fifty thousand BC. Fifty thousand BC. Yes, the ranch plant. <laughs> the ranch plant. Well, Michael, we got like I'm like a minute and a half left. So always, always, always good talking to you, brother. Always, always, man. Like, if you think about it, like, these Zoom calls, they're really not fucking podcasts. They're mostly just fucking... It's, it's like, kind of like talking on the phone, but letting, ev letting everyone <laughs> else... Letting everyone else hear what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, should we really be posting this stuff? Yes. Absolutely. I love yeah. talking about fucking... Uh, I love talking about scenarios of Mike running over Amish people with his fucking of truck. Of course. I love it. I love it. It's fucking fun, man. K kill the Amish. Yes, kill the Amish, please. <laughs> get, them get, out the, get them out of the fucking road when I'm trying to go home from work. Are Amish people racist? I mean, probably. I mean, I know they don't like the English people, but what about like, like I don't know, like, like I said, like different uh, other people of different races that are English as well too. Well, there's it's only white people that are in it. It's a very exclusive club. It's, what about what about Mormons? Do you think they like Mormons as well? Because Mormons don't they, they don't allow black people in their church. I think either they do nowadays. They didn't for the longest time. That's like a very recent thing. Ah, uh, well, we don't when, get uh, well, what's it called when all the Polynesians and Pacific yeah. Islanders that started moving to Salt Lake City. <laughs> They, we can we could we could get in that discussion later. Well we can talk about Mormonism in the next part. We're about to end in like in like a couple seconds. Michael, good good seeing good talking to you, brother. All right. You as well, friend. Yes, sir.